I have a, I have a confession, and I'm pretty ashamed of it. But I am happy that I figured it out and can correct it. So to preface, I grew up in the 80s and 90s. In the 80s and 90s, there were so many movies where men and women were in it. Um, and the women and men were both, you know, equally badass. There were black and white characters. There were movies with black and white characters and the characters were both pretty badass. In fact, um, a movie franchise I love, Lethal Weapon, with Danny Glover and Mel Gibson. You know, Danny Glover's character's family is totally in this. Like, it's in it. And Riggs, played by Gibson, he has no family until he's adopted by, you know, Danny Glover's uh, family. And I like that. It showed the giving nature of black people in America because I was raised in a pretty much all black uh, city. And the people here would give you the shirts off their back. So. I've also come to learn that there are a lot of people in the black community who are very loving and giving. But that aside, <clears throat> I just thought it was really cool to see a black character and a white character pretty much on equal footing. Xena Warrior Princess and um, Buffy the Vampire Slayers. The Buffy the Vampire Slayer, they were two really good shows with two female leads who kicked all the ass, took all the names. Uh, Xena actually had some um, lesbian undertones, and but it wasn't it wasn't in our faces. At least it wasn't to me. You know, it was just pretty much hinted at. Um, then Buffy the Vampire Slayer, no matter how badass she was, she still had a crush on that vampire angel, and it showed that teenagers they have the power of boners too, and sometimes. The power bonus is stronger than the power of the mind. It made these characters real in fictional worlds. There were, but nowadays that can't happen. Nowadays there has to be a statement made with these, you know, with these characters about whether it's the evil man or the evil white man or the evil white person. It's like Jordan Peele, for example, who stated that he would never ever, uh, cast a white lead in his movies that to me is racist straight up racist um then there are movies like the avengers the last avengers movie where there was just this one sequence where all of the women got together protecting like spider-man or whatever and it's like dude how in your face could you be with this with this feminism how in your face and then there was the ghostbusters movie where you know, every pre with uh, it was uh, all female cast with this press junket, like how awesome women are, which women are awesome, but it made it seem as if women were the better sex and not equal, which is my problem. When any media tries to portray one group of people as better than or more kick ass than another, I have a problem with it. And where I'm ashamed of is that over the over time. I started seeing everything, you know, where a black person was the lead of a, of a movie or had like a really kick-ass moment or where a woman was the lead of a movie or had this kick-ass moment that it was, you know, people trying to push that agenda in my face, in our faces. And I know now that it just took me some time to realize that's not always the case. There are some moments like the movie Black Panther. He was, Chadwick Boseman played an amazing Black Panther. He did a great job, rest in peace. And, you know, as much as Killmonger's character seemed to be preaching be, that white guilt crap that I just can't stand, Chadwick Boseman did a great job. And I think that the world lost an amazing actor and an amazing character when he passed away I think they want to recast Black Panther the role of Black Panther I hope they do and I hope the person is uh, up to the task but you know then there's Wonder Woman in Justice League and 
I can't believe I'm saying this, but I really thought that, oh my God, this is going to be like another thing where Wonder Woman upstages Superman and Batman, and it wasn't. She played an integral part, just like the other characters, and she was equal in the battle between uh, the Justice League and Steppenwolf and Doomsday, you know, and all of that stuff. Like, they didn't overly, they didn't make her overly powerful. They flushed out her character very well. And again, you know, I love the I love that stuff. And I think the message here is that before we judge, and this goes to me definitely, before I judge something as overtly racist or overtly calling out white people or overtly calling out men or over overtly feminist, I need to seriously sit down and watch it objectively. I need to listen to music objectively. I need to have more objective conversations than just automatically going in thinking this or at or just allowing my mind to like create this delusion that has been created in it so many times because of the way that you know things have been becoming in this woke nation so that's that's what I'm thinking and I just wanted to let y'all know that that I'm working on it um, like subscribe all of that stuff and know I love you deuces